Burn fat and shape your body with these 12 cardio and dumbbell moves. Hi everyone, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my channel, Lively Ladies. So today's workout, we are going to do 12 dumbbell and cardio moves. We're gonna repeat them twice to make it a 24 minute circuit. And I have a warm up ready now, just we'll get going with that now in a moment and a short cool down at the end. So we're working for 50 seconds intervals and 10 seconds just to transition or to give you a short break between each move. I'm gonna hit the timer, okay? I have some dumbbells ready here. If you have dumbbells, get them ready. If not, you can just use your own body weight or you can um, just fill up water bottles, okay? All right, so let's just step touch it here. Okay, so we get going, we warm up the body first, get all that blood flowing, circulating around those tissues and uh, keep our bodies safe for our training. Okay, now arms up in the air. Good work. Now this is a bent arm lateral raise as opposed to this straight arm lateral raise. You can mix between the two if you like. Bend it, straighten it. Bend and straighten. And, or you can just stick to one if you just find that coordination with the legs is a little bit too much for you. If you find the arms are too much at all, just keep those legs going. Let's get down a little bit deeper. Okay, you can keep the arms going if you want to get down deeper. Good, we're just activating the glutes a little bit more, getting down deeper. Well done. Okay, let's march it out. Getting the heart rate to come up, get a little bit of sweat flowing around our bodies. Let's do a hamstring curl for eight, and then what are we doing there? Into a knee raise for eight. Yeah, hamstring curl for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Knee raise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And knee raise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Curl the other side. I'm gonna just keep going with this. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and up for one, two, three. Keep going with this one. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, and again, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Knee raise it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, one. Knee raise. One, two. Get warmer. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven and eight and we're just going to throw in a few squats here at the end when we head straight into our workout then okay good work that's it sit down squeeze your glutes well done okay now we'll start off first four moves are cardio so i'm not using any weights we're going to march forward and zig back zigzag back for four so i'm going to march forward and then one two three and four now again i know it does require a lot of space so one two three and four just work with what you've got and one two three and four forward nice high chest for me one two three and four this is your cardio section then we're going to go into a strength section and then cardio and strength mixed together for the last four that will bring you up to the 12 exercises and we'll repeat it again okay and forward one two and three and four let's go forward and one two three and four and four okay well done march it out now in the middle just so we can get into the next move it's a low jack for two okay and then we're going to kick the leg out in front let's go one two one and two don't worry if you can't kick too high just do what you can one two one two might be your warm-up here your workout 
first thing in the morning so your body's feeling still a little bit stiff. If that um, warm up wasn't enough for you, I do have a 10 minute warm up on my channel. I'll leave a link in the description below the video here if you like to warm up for a little bit longer. Good, one, two, that's it, one, two, kick and kick and one and two and kick and kick. Come on, this is your cardio section. Let's get that heart rate up. One, have fun with it. Two, and one, and two, one, and two. Good, and kick, and kick. Well done, okay, move three. Row climb and arms. Okay, let's get ready now. I'm gonna reach up to the ceiling. Get those legs going first. All right, let's go on the beeper. Let's go. One. Legs up. Good, now if you're feeling energized and you don't mind a little bit of impact, you can take it up into a little jogging type move and reach up to the ceiling, just like this. Now, if you want to keep it low, you can just uh, take the impact out of it and you can still get a great workout. Good. You can keep the intensity up without jumping. That's it. Reach up. Reach up. Good. Down. Now, pull on that rope for me. Climb that rope. Imagine you really are climbing a rope. Grasp that rope. Come on. Use those muscles in your upper half. Work your abs here. What a great abdominal work exercise this is that's it come on right up to the ceiling we've got a knee raise and punch the arms next okay get ready now we're going to do one two punch the arms okay so our last move in our cardio one two and then we move on to strength punch those arms one two punch those arms one two punch those arms good one two and one two that's it one two one two good make that move come from your mid back one two that's it get all those muscles engaged one two bring in your belly button for me now engage your core one two protect your back that's it good one two and up one two good one and two and one two one and two that's it punch punch up up punch punch good up and up punch punch we're gonna move on to our strength section now so if you're using dumbbells have those ready okay now we've got a squat thruster so pick your weight all right rest the dumbbells on your shoulder we're going to alternate right and left and then two together okay so sit into your squat right left two together squat it right left two together squat right left two together that's it sit into your squat now don't fall forward on your squat so what i need you to do is keep your chest upright press the weight into your heels that'll help you from falling forward two together that's it keep your tummy muscles tight one two two together and look forward look at me one two two together good sit down one two two together sit yourself down one two two together well done now we'll keep the dumbbells or you might want to go heavier okay we're going to do a narrow squat so we're going to bring the feet pretty much close together okay so they might be just a couple of inches apart sit into it and then hammer curl it if you have heavier weights, you might get away with it here because of the squat, the squatting uh, um, exercise can take a little bit more weight than some of the exercises using smaller muscle groups. So what you're doing is you're sitting back in your chair and curling your weights up. Sit back, your feet are quite close to each other, just hence the name narrow squat. Sit down and curl. We've got a pec tech into a shoulder press next. So more upper body now, next exercise. This is allowing the heart rate to come down a little bit from the cardio. That's good. I'm gonna bring it back up again now with her, the next four exercises, okay, then in cardio and strength section. Now we have pec deck into shoulder press. So bring those weights up in front of you. Okay, pec deck into shoulder press, pec deck. Now the challenge here is to keep your arms okay up at shoulder height. Now, now that is tough. 
You can put one leg behind you if you feel your lower back is starting to twinge. All right, we don't want the lower back now to start giving out, particularly this early in the workout. That's it. And shoulder press. Good. And lift. Well done. Lift up. Good. And lift. You're doing a great job. Lift up and pec deck. Up for the shoulders, pec deck. Up and pec deck. Good. And together. Well done. Okay, now we have a side lunge and we're going to do both legs with a front raise. Okay, so make sure you've got space here. Don't worry if you can't lunge too deeply, just do what you can. And we're going to do a front raise. Other side, front raise. Good. Side lunge, front raise, side lunge, front raise, side lunge, front raise. Well done. Side lunge, front raise. Now, if you can only come to here, that is fine. That's what you do. You do, you work within your own range of movement. Good. If you include these kind of moves in your workouts regularly, your flexibility and your hip mobility will come to you fairly quickly. Good, gotta put the work in to get the results. And down, and lift. Okay, now we are on to cardio and strength, so you're, you have an option to use weights here if you want. Okay, march and pec deck. I think I'll go down with these guys, because I think I can get a better pec deck with the, uh, these weights. Okay. If you find it's inter interfering with your pec deck, get rid of them. <laughs> and now I can touch my elbows off each other. <laughs> that's it, that's what I want. I can really feel the chest working now. Okay, so get those feet up now. This is cardio and strength. Good, come on, we can get strength, uh, get strong, I should say, with uh, body weight too. <sighs> Never underestimate what your body can do. That's it, come on. Squeeze, I'm not just flying those arms in and out. I am engaging my muscles, that's it. I'm squeezing, I'm releasing, I'm fighting gravity here, but just by keeping my arms suspended in the air here, up shoulder height, good work, okay. Now we're gonna skip with the arms out wide, and again, you can use weights if you want. I think it might be too challenging if you're going to do a um, skipping type move. Now, I'm doing a low impact skip here. It may not look it, but my toes are staying in contact with the floor. You can bring it up if you like, where your one foot leaves the floor, and now the arms, okay? Bring in the arms. Now, if you want to keep it low, get those feet going, and now the arms. This is quite challenging. You might, might be too hard with weights. I'm definitely picking up weight for the next one. <laughs> it's a speed squat, goblet squat. Okay, so once you hear squatting, you've got your big muscle groups helping out there. Okay, now I do do a little jump here. Yeah, it just uh, works better with the arm movements. That's it, I'm circling backwards. Let's go forward with the arms. Good. Okay, well done. Now, speed, speed squat. We'll be bold and go at a heavier weight. Okay. Now, I got my heart rate up. Squeeze your glutes. Sit down and squeeze. Sit into it and squeeze. So make sure that your hips are going back out behind you. That's it, squeeze on the way up. Don't lean back like this. Sit down, chest is up, upright. Good. You don't have to do a speed squat. You can just do a regular goblet squat or you can take up the pace to bring in your conditioning workout here. Good. Just work at your own level. Don't try and do what everyone else is doing. That's it. Sit back and squeeze. Now we have a march and continuous shoulder press next. So we're going to get some upper body work with the next one. The upper body is getting a rest now. Okay, well done. Now, continuous shoulder press. Let's go with these black ones. Right, we're marching. Get ready to go. And then this is our last one, this is exercise 12, and then I'm gonna repeat it all over again. Continuous shoulder press. Now if your weights are light and you feel like, oh, these are swinging all over the place, I want you to slow them down. 
you can use light weights and get a great workout with them as long as you know what you're doing so slow the move down slow it down and get a full range of movement there with the arm extend it right up to the ceiling nice and long keep it tucked into your earlobe so you don't stress out your elbow good reach up and reach now i'm going to go straight into round two if you feel like you need a minute or two minutes just to grab some water or just have a rest i want you to pace the room though unless you're feeling dizzy don't sit down pace the room come back to me for round two okay now i'm going to go straight in get those dumbbells out of your way remember it's a march forward zigzag backwards march forward oh sorry zigzag backwards one two sorry i only fit three in there march forward and one and two and three and four if you only have the space to go back twice that's fine you go with that and three and four march forward come on let's get that cardio done one two three and four march forward and back for one two and three and four and forward good one two three and four and again come on have fun with this one two three and four good forward and one two this is a great fun workout love getting off the spot okay well done low jack for two kick the leg out in front for two all right march those arms get ready low jack so one two one and two one and two one and two good step to the side step to the side kick and kick if this is all you can do kick and kick that's fine that's what you do good kick and kick one and two kick and kick one and two kick and kick that's it come on keep moving keep that body moving and grooving as we say one and two keep going what's our time 10 seconds yeah we can do that one and two rope climb with arms is next and you can take that rope climb up into a high impact move if you're feeling nice and energized okay well done so if you remember rope climb high impact the knees are sorry the feet come off the ground low impact you just stay with a nice big strong march okay reach up that's it come on climb up. i want you to grasp that rope come on pull yourself up to the ceiling imagine a rope a big thick rope and you are climbing it that's it come on get the heart rate up for me big deep breaths keep your body moving i know you might feel like oh round two is quite challenging i need to stop i want you to try your best come on keep going keep going at least go to the end of the cardio and then give yourself a rest if you really must that's it come on get those knees up knees up it's only one more exercise if you really need to rest out don't rest in the middle of the exercise come on train your body to keep going work on your endurance that's it get your heart strong very quickly if you can do that okay well done knee raise punch the arms forward okay get ready now when you hear the beep five seconds three oh there we go okay right so we are what are we do knee raise one two one two and one two one two good one two one two knee up knee up one two good one and two one two up up punch punch that's it come on keep your spine straight that's it good one two you're looking great good stay with your workout that's it that's all i ask stay with me one two one two the less the less you give up on an exercise or your workout the stronger your mind will get it's not just all about the body getting strong it's a mental challenge for the mind as well good come on one and two good work okay let's work away now to the strength section squat thrusters all right well i challenge myself i go a little bit heavier okay let's go so do you remember it's alternating left first this time one two two together good down left right 
together, good. Sit down into a squat, one, two, and reach up, squat it, one, two, together, come on, sit your hips back, one, two, together, come on, you're doing great, sit down, one, two, together, sit down, one, two, we're nearly there, Ooh, shoulders are starting to fatigue. Good, one, two, together. Well done, great, good work. Okay. Oh, narrow, a narrow and hammer curl. I'm gonna stay with these weights, I've really warmed up now. So narrow squat, sit down, narrow. Hammer curl, so a hammer curl is just when your palms face each other, okay, rather than facing up to the ceiling. Good work. Hammer curl. Do you remember your pec deck into shoulder press? That's next. It's a little bit hard to do a pec deck with the, the dumbbells in the way. It's just the shape of them. They do actually stop you from uh, getting that full range of movement. But I, I'll stick with dumbbells because I want to get my shoulders worked. I want to use resistance on my shoulders. But you don't have to. If you find that yourself in round one, you can leave them out. Sit down and hammer curl it. A few seconds left. Good, looking good. And I'll just finish out my curl. Okay, I'll go with the lighter ones because I get they do tend to allow you a little bit more range of movement. Okay, let's get ready. Peck deck, shoulder press. Peck, shoulder, I'm trying to cross them over. If you want to try that, shoulder press. Peck deck. Shoulder press. I can't get those elbows together. It's a bit challenging with the the bumps on the weight in the way. And up. Good. And shoulder press. Come on, we're still getting a good workout. By just keeping those arms up at shoulder height, we're really fighting gravity again. If your back is starting to nag, put one foot behind you and make sure you're pulling your belly button in. Well done. That side lunges, frontal raise next, some more shoulder work. Good, lift, squeeze it out, lift, a few seconds to go. That's it, you're doing great. Okay, good work. Let's get ready to side lunge. Let's go this way first. Okay, watch there's no dumbbells in your way. All right, give yourself lots of space. Get ready now. Side lunge, shoulder press. Oh yeah, we're doing both legs, I forgot, sorry. And side lunge, shoulder press. Side lunge, shoulder press, down and up. Good, down and up. Now just again, work with your own range of movement, okay? Don't, don't uh, be too concerned if uh, you see somebody going really deep and you want to do that too, just you have to build up to that. Otherwise you might end up pulling a muscle in your groin and that can be very painful. I did it once many years ago. <laughs> Never want to repeat it again. Good. And lift. Well done, lift up. Get one more in maybe. Okay, good work. All right, so that's now into cardio and strength. So a march and a pec deck. Okay, again, I'm just gonna get rid of the, I wanna get my pec deck in today. So let's go. Good. Squeeze that chest, that's it. Can you bring your knees up a little bit more? That's it, good. Try and get the coordination of the arms working with the legs. Squeeze, release it. When I'm releasing, I'm still working hard. Okay, I'm letting my muscles work through both forward and back, forward and back. I know you do tend to forget about your legs and you focus on Zoom, zoom in on one body part. Oh, try and remember both. Good, we've got to skip and arms out to the side or wide. That's coming next. Okay, ooh, we've got to rest those arms. Now we've got to skip. Will we go high impact? Maybe a bit of both. You can do interval training. So you can take both feet up off the ground and open those arms. That's it, good. You can do that for 10 seconds. 
then take it down to a lower impact move good keep going keep those arms up high for me you can turn around to the side and get off the spot here rotate the arms the other way this is going to bring the heart rate up speed squats coming next speed goblet squat so cardio and strength together can really bring your heart rate up high really conditions the heart and lungs get them fit fast just there now okay now i'm gonna go with my heavier dumbbell now speed squat okay or just regular squat if you find the tempo's too much for you nice and slow if you want to just focus on your form and again form is chest is high it's good goblet squats great it really teaches you how to keep your chest upright you have the dumbbell in front of you here so tuck it in under your chin it'll keep telling you not to look down okay and then the weight is into your heels particularly uh, in your heels and you're tracking your knees out over your sorry yeah you're over your shoelaces Whew. there's a lot to remember with squatting squeeze your glutes on the way up but don't arch your back good that, that last move really brought the heart rate up squatting won't allow it to come down too much though using big muscle groups gets the heart beating good well done okay now we have our march and continuous shoulder press next <coughs> okay go, go with these now with these ones All right last move that's it good <laughs> continuous it doesn't mean we're swinging them all over the place it means we're actually engaging the shoulder muscle like squeeze it squeeze it slow down if you really want to feel uh, the muscle group working okay if you have heavier weights maybe you could try those watch your back here once those arms come above the head you can tend to arch your back so keep it nice and straight just remember that string coming out of your head <sighs> lift and lift up come on oh let's get those legs going it, it is a bit hard trying to remember the legs when you've got two weights coming up above your head you're nearly there now you just finished your circuit you did great you should be so proud of yourself well done okay good work now we'll head into a cool down we'll use our interval timer to guide us through it now i need to bring my heart rate down a little bit from those last couple of moves so i'm going to step touch nice and slow now you can swing your arms with, <laughs> with not too much purpose because we are done we have put in the work you can step your leg behind you and it's time now to cool our bodies down well done okay just enjoy this moment here now and just reflect on how well you've done you made it through you made it through your cardio you made it through your strength and then you made it through cardio and strength and then you did it all over again good well done 24 minutes that circuit took today and we did our three minute warm-up and then we just finish off now with our cool down okay let's have a big stretch now reach up we'll wait for the beeper to keep me on track okay there we go reach up that's it i'm going to bring my abs in nice and tight before i move and i'm going to just stretch to the side push my arms away and it's not that deep of a stretch so just be careful with yourself come back reach up to the middle good work doing brilliant brilliant job good over to the side good well done reach it up good hold it there just for a few more seconds that's it you're doing great and now take it back to the middle interlace those fingers keep them interlaced reach up to the ceiling good okay that's it big deep breath just in our transition period fill up those lungs for me let's stretch it out to the side and we'll have a final stretch now for our inner thighs you might feel a little bit looser now and be able to go a little further with the stretch 
If not, just stay upright. Keep your chest upright. That's it. Well done. Good. Let's move to the other side now for the last few seconds. Well done. Great work today. You should be very proud of yourself. You should be feeling now nice and uh, energetic. Maybe t fatigued, all right, but energized as well and feeling good mentally. Well done. Hold it there, a few seconds to go. Use your breathing. Okay, and that is it. Come on up out of it. Well done. That was great. Feeling nice and warm now. Feeling very worked out, those muscle groups. <laughs> um, full body workout there. And I really, really had a great time working out. Thank you very much for joining me today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.